Okay, you see that chocobo way back there? Top middle of the screen? That's the one I need. What do you have? Dream powder. All these items that I never get. We like grenades. Also, annoying that the enemies now have goss spells for I do. We're, all, we're making it to do a couple things. I mean, if it wants to do that, that's fine. Uh, don't link up to Za. I know ZA is, shows up at some point. The, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 has ZA. Does 15 not have ZA? Uh, I'm actually gonna flee. I never do this, but I'm gonna flee. I don't feel like dealing with that. Okay. I mean, I haven't even touched 15. Okay, let's see. Is this one of the ones Kamari has to lance it? No. Okay. have a little more health than I really expect them to. Not bad. Okay. Now yeah, why not? Take that. Oh, nice. Oh god, I just realized that next next stream is complete grinding. You. Why are you not the person I thought you were? We'll get through this. Yeah, I I noticed that I forgot to attack with you, you know. There we go. There's bad breath. Yeah, um, Saturday's not going to be a particularly interesting stream. Calm down. Damn. Bad breath? Bad breath. Of course it is. Oh, God, that sucks. Uh, that might be game over. I think that's game over.
Of course you miss. Of course she dodges it. Come on, hit someone. Anyone. Thank you. Okay, it's fine. I win. Whew, that was kind of scary. Not gonna lie. And Bahamut just doesn't care about your shit. Would you stop hitting Bahamut in the crotch, please? Go away. So, yeah, um... Next stream is going to be Blitzball. Ooh, wait, Ominous Case. Which one's that one? Ooh, I like it. I do. Okay. Uh, let's heal up. But yeah, next stream is going to be uh, Blitzball grinding, um, which... It'll be entertaining for about 20 minutes, and then it's going to get boring for the next three hours. My will is strong. Yeah, four enemy fights are a little bit rare. I was thinking the, I was thinking much the same. I know Mount Gagazette has a bunch. This one is mine. No, it isn't. You're not doing anything. Uh Riku. Everybody dies. And now Titus has become our main way to farm. Because he's going to do that a lot. Yeah, I know. It's just number of uses. Okay, quick cutscene in here. Father Zook. Long time no see. You Such are a you weird know? robe. Hmm. You certainly don't look like Mr. Kinox murderer. What you say? Did I try lightning? <laughs> That's what you mean. Tell us what has happened. Mr. Micah just issued a personal order, you know. It said that you and your guardians murdered Maester Kenok and fled. Micah doesn't like us. We are to kill you on sight. Oh, I refuse. So it says. I did three of them and I stopped. What of Bavel? Things are calm on the surface, but the depths are turbulent. Oh? After the death of Maester Kenok, Kelk Ronso left Yevon. Ooh, that's bad. Convenient. Getting around will be easier with Yevon in disarray. But be careful, my friends. You have been branded enemies of Yevon. That sucks. You should avoid temples for the time being. Thank you, Father Zook. Good thing for your there's warning. no more temples Father, to bother with. You came all the way here just to tell us this? To tell the truth, I was a little curious to see this summoner you are guarding. Hmm. I hope her pilgrimage goes well. So do we. For your sake, too. Thank you, Father. Yep, we're all heretics unless she succeeds. I shall pray for all of you. I appreciate that. Thank you.
Okay. So, now that I've had that cutscene, I'm allowed to play Blitzball again. Okay, where's the dude I'm looking for? Okay, that's not bad. Could be worse than Drain. Waka, your blitz ball is too good. Can you stop? You know, eventually, Oren will have an overdrive meter again. I live for that day. Is it that one? It's that one, right? Yeah, this is the NPC I'm looking for. Okay. Hold on to your butts, and we'll hope that R and Jesus is on our side. This is not a good sign. Of course it is. Let's hope. Okay, no bad breath. We're good. Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> Worth the risk? Cannot be sleeped. Can't be threatened either. Okay, so good news is... Okay, that's a Berserk. Waka's good, though. Um... So, the big thing about that cutscene is that... While we are branded heretics, um, not everyone believes it. And the problem is that because, uh, because Yevon's in disarray, not everybody's, um, not everybody's agreeing with it right now. So that's the big thing right now, is that not everybody agrees with the, you know, thing they said, and well, so we're kind of able to get around it. Still a weird situation, though. Hey, look, another bad breath. Hmm. That's kind of problematic. Two berserks and a confusion. Okay, confusion got fixed.
Well, so here's the other thing about it, and it's less of an in-character reasoning. Um... He's... Okay. Kamari? Okay. Um, this is less of an in-character reasoning, but it's, it's still... It's still there. Um... So one of the big things going on is that there are a couple of things you have that you can unlock for Waka that you cannot unlock for Waka if um if freaking that's locked to you. Wow, that was no damage. Okay. Uh I might actually lose right here because of that. I was expecting that to win, which is why I bothered to go for it. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to flat lose here. Well, that sucks. I shouldn't have gone for that. Okay. Um, so, yeah, like, all of Waka's overdrives, as well as Waka's um, legendary weapon, um, require that you have access to Blitzball. So, to... <laughs> I, I'm not going to lie. I was kind of hoping for that, too. So, for the game to, you know, not allow me to play Blitzball would have deprived me of a lot of access to a lot of things. Blitzball is also, you know, a decent side minigame they really wanted to focus on. That doesn't make a tremendous amount of sense, but... It's more that that was the cutscene that indicated that the major issues are now over. And that the storyline has progressed enough that I'm allowed to play Blitz Ball again. Because the problem is, the stuff that's going on now is not going to be resolved until the end of the game. So if they didn't do it now, I'd never be able to play Blitzball again. Which would suck, because also there is no way I could get certain Blitzball things, like Waka's Legendary Weapon, before this point. You have to have an item that you get while in the Calm Lands in order to actually get any of the legendary weapons. And the Calm Lands is, you know, after these events have all happened. <laughs> Just wait till you get wait till I get to the Omega Ruins and run away from every single Malboro for a long time. Can you stop that? That's annoying. Enough. Okay. Hmm. Let's go. Heal up real quick, just in case something stupid happens. That's why I'm going to have a Sonic Steel for Titus, and it will always be on when I'm in the ruins. Just in case that encounter happens. Oh, well, here we go. Yep. I don't think I do. I think I sold them all. Because I need money for that next place. The place that I'm probably not going to on Saturday. And 
And I can't go now because I don't have enough money now. I'm only halfway there. Good crit. Wow. I'm not even halfway there. That's kind of depressing. Okay. God damn it. I was going to say, is it a Marlboro again? Speaking of things that suck to fight against, these things, they suck to fight against. Let's end this. Huh. Was that a fire one by chance that I just fought that I just used? Sphero. Okay. Now that we've cleared the path, let's go do stupid chocobo things. I want to ride a chocobo. Sure. I'll train him. Yes, I want to try it. Step one. Stop going to the right. Okay, step one done. Oh, no, wait. Crap. <laughs> Didn't want to do it again. Yeah, I'm not actually in full control of the bird right now. It just chooses to go in a direction. Let's do something else. Okay. Uh, Dodger. Hey, Gia, thanks for the host. Okay, so this time I have to do this. Now the Chocobo will actually do what I want it to, but now there's going to be birds that are going to fly at me and try to slow me down. Or, sorry, uh, balls are going to try to slow me down. Ow. I'm bad. I got, actually got hit by one. Oh, come on. That was at a good angle. Okay. Okay, that was the easy one. Now I have to do the one that makes everybody break controllers. Actually, sorry, no. This is not the one that makes people break, break controllers. The next one makes people break controllers. Oh, come on. Damn bird. Oh, I am doing terribly here. By the way, the angle the birds come at are random. Nope. And I just lost it because of that bird. This is what will happen that makes people break controllers, is that it will just keep on throwing birds at you that you have no chance of dodging. 
Like, literally no chance of dodging. It is not possible to dodge a bird at that angle. So, it's just like, okay, well, you don't get to win. I'm sorry. And then sometimes it'll behave. And then this will happen. Nope. Nope. And... Okay, I got it. Okay, that's not the one that breaks controllers. That is just the annoying one. Okay, I'm not racing her right now. And there's a, a very important reason I'm not going to race her right now. Um, Because I need to do a thing before I race her. So what I need to do before I race her is I need to go do a completely different race. To get an item called a Cloudy Mirror. Which allows me to start unlocking uh, stuff related to the legendary weapons. When you beat the Chocobo Rider, or the Chocobo Trainer, in the next race, it allows you to get Tidus's base legendary weapon. But you have to have the Cloudy Mirror to do it. So if you don't have the Cloudy Mirror, you can still beat her and get the item from her that she gives you for winning. But you won't get... You won't be able to get Tidus's legendary weapon. As long as it's stream, I don't know. I'm not tired yet. Maybe an hour more. At this point, all I'm doing is uh, I've got to do the Chocobo race game, which could be anywhere from the, or not not. I'm gonna do two Chocobo races. This Chocobo race will take me two minutes. The next Chocobo race, on the other hand, will take me anywhere from five minutes to an hour and a half. And it depends in. Uh, almost entirely on RNG. Well, after I do, um, after I do the next choke, not this chocobo race. This chocobo race is easy. Um, after I do the next chocobo race, all I have left to do is grinding. So, depending on how early I win that Chocobo race, what will probably end up happening is I'll just do the grinding. Um, and I'll show you what the grinding is. It's nothing interesting. Okay, is this Chocobo race is special? Um, all that I do is I just try to get to the bottom without touching any of these poles. Touching a pole costs me time, and I need to beat it within a certain amount of time in order to win. The first win is easy. Because you are significantly faster than the other Chocobo. However, in order to get all the rewards, you have to gradually get all of the chests that are on the way. Uh, and getting one chest and winning is easy. Getting two chests and win is, winning is still pretty easy. Getting three chests and winning is still pretty easy. But four, five, and especially six are significantly harder. And the problem is, uh, in order to do my end game grinding, I need the six chest win. Uh, and it's actually pretty hard. I'm going to have to go look up the route for it. Because it's a very specific route that always wins. But it's really, really... It's not one I remember off the top of my head anymore. And then, on top of being hard, the controls kind of suck, and the controls are based on the camera angle, and the camera angle consistently changes. So you have to consistently update how you're holding your controller, or how you're holding your joystick, which just, it's obnoxious. It really is. Um, so we're going to have to do that, or we're going to have to do that as well, but I'm not going to do that yet, because there's kind of no point. Let's jump back here, because there's a single treasure chest right here, with a bunch of money in it. Okay, so that was the first Chocobo race done. Now I need to do the other one, and this other one is the one that could, I could beat in anywhere from five minutes to an hour and a half. Possibly even longer than that, actually. And as I said, it's almost entirely RNG. So the idea is it's the same dodger thing that I already did, so it's still dodging like incoming birds. 
I also have to pick up balloons. The balloons and the birds are randomly placed. I'm also racing the Chocobo Runner. I have to beat her and also have a total time of less than zero seconds. Each balloon I pick up uh, drops three seconds off my total time. Each bird I hit adds three seconds to my total time. So that's the deal. I have to get to the end in front of her with less than zero seconds total time. I'm going to ignore this first balloon. There's kind of no point getting it. I'm already behind her. That sucks. Uh, I really wish I could restart already. Because she's just picking up everything because I screwed up the controls. Now, more important than getting all the balloons, or as many balloons as possible, is not hitting birds. It's better to miss a balloon than to hit a bird. This corner sucks because this is where the birds spawn. So those birds just forced me to ignore multiple balloons because I couldn't actually reach them. And I'm actually behind the, uh, the you know, I'm behind the, the catcher, so I already lose. So even though I got here within 40, uh, almost 45 seconds, I also lose anyways. Because I wasn't here before she was. So that's the game. So it's going to entirely depend on where the balloons are and where the birds are and can I get there ahead of her. So she's just taking these balloons, and because the balloons were more on her side than mine, I just got behind her, and there's nothing I can do about it. And I get hit by that one. There are certain angles you can go at that almost guarantee the birds won't hit you. Almost. But then stuff like this happens, where the birds just spawn in your face. And she's just winning. She could body block for me. Sometimes it'll work. But yeah, I need to be ahead of her in the first place. So she still has the better time. That's fine. I'm hoping a bunch of balloons will show up on the right side of this. Okay, that's awesome. That's what I want to see. Because then I get to stay on the right side actually get in front of her here. I don't care about that balloon. I'm going to skip that balloon. You see, she did too. Okay. This is the setup I want. Okay. Can I get through without getting hit again? Uh, I might have it. Did I get enough? I don't think I got enough balloons is the problem. So I won, but I don't think I got my time down to zero. Nope, not quite enough. I needed 14 total balloons to pull it off. So I was close. I only needed two more balloons. So that gets me a level three key sphere. Uh, we're going to do it again. But that's all I had to do. I just needed two more balloons, and just the birds forced me to dodge them. I don't care about that balloon. Because going after that would put her ahead of me. Uh, I'm being forced to ignore all these balloons, because she's just taking them all. Uh, this might not be doable now. Yeah, this is not doable now. The birds just gave me a really bad pattern, and sort of the balloons... All, and you saw that all those birds winged in on me, and there's nothing I could do about it. None of them went after the Chocobo Trainer, which kind of sucks. Especially when I had something as good as that last round. But the game just gave the Trainer just all of the, all the luck. All the balloons were on her side. This is better. This is much better. Ignore the first one. She gets behind me. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and grab this one. Uh, crap. That was not good. Oh, come on. Come on. Yep. 
There was no dodging that. I wish I had gotten that balloon. Ah, uh, is that doable? Is there potential there? No, too many, too many birds. So close. So close. How's this start? Uh, this starts okay. Let's go after this balloon. Uh, it wouldn't even let me do that. My bird auto went away from that. What the hell was that? What? No. Okay. This is the game saying I'm not allowed to win. Did you see that? No, I'm just not, like, like, the game is punishing me. I had a bird come from behind that I could not dodge. And now I'm being hit by the trainer's birds. Oh my god. Yeah. There's just, I'm just not allowed to win this one. Like, there, there, no. The game has made it clear I'm not allowed to win that one. <laughs> oh my god. Nine birds. That's terrible. Like, there, the, there was no nothing. Could not do that. Okay, get off my butt. Damn it. Double damn it. And that forced me to miss that balloon. That sucks. Man, I would love it if my Chocobo would stop turning away from the direction I want to go. That would be amazing. I wouldn't be missing all these balloons. Oh, okay. That's fine. <laughs> and well, it doesn't matter if the trainer gets punished. Like, it doesn't matter if the trainer gets punished. Because the trainer doesn't have to be below zero. I have to be below zero. And some of these, like, placements are just garbage. And the fact is, if you get too close to the edge of the course, your chocobo starts turning. And the problem is, these balloons are next to the edge of the course. So, I'm trying to go for these... Of course. Oh my god, come on. So, my chocobo will auto-turn if I get too close there. Uh, this is bad. Oh my god, I cannot believe it gave that to me. So close. Got it a little bit better, but so close. A better start would have had that one. Ugh. Okay, trainer can have that one. Oh, the lag on the game there sucked. Wow, it tried to hit me from behind again. Okay, Chocobo, don't let me get the balloons I'm aiming for. That's fine. Uh, this might actually be it. I think that was actually it. I wasn't counting the I wasn't counting the balloons, but I think that should be it. Yep, that's it. Okay, and that's Chocobo Racing done. So this gives me the Sun Sigil. The Sun Sigil is required for Titus's uh, legendary weapon. But also, you see this guy standing right here? He usually blocks the way going down this ramp. But whenever you win, he comes over and he says something like, Man, I never thought I'd see the, uh, you know, the day that someone beat the, the Chocobo Racer. 
Uh, that's not the fastest I've ever gotten that. I've actually gotten that a lot faster in the past. I think the Let's Play I got in the first or second try. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not. If if 100% did not require lightning, I would try it. But uh with lightning, screw that noise. Just screw that noise. And that's the sad thing. That's actually the only thing that would stop me. I mean, I would probably make one attempt at it. Just one run. That's it. I would only make one run. But I would make one attempt at the 100% speed run. And that would be it. That would be... That would be... But you're also talking about, like, a 95-hour speed run. Or something like that. Oh, I forget. Am I actually allowed to get this? Because I only have the cloudy mirror. It's not the actual mirror yet. Okay, I'm allowed to get it. Okay. So you come down here. You activate this. The cloudy mirror activates. Nope, never mind. I can't have it yet. Damn it. I got to the race again. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot. I forgot. You have to actually have the actual mirror. Crap. Let's get him, guys. Okay. Let's go do it. I'm going to go get the actual mirror. And then I have to do the race again. I mean, I definitely feel as if the, you know, a Final Fantasy X 100% speed run is doable. If you were allowed to use, like, a trainer to get the 200 lightning bolts, you know, like one of those programs that will do it automatically for you, um, if you were allowed to do that, then I think it would be a doable thing. Oh, I'm going to save real quick before I forget. Or if you just had a way to, like, set the game up so that you started with, uh, yeah, you started with the item. Okay, all I'm doing right now is I'm going to go get, uh, which way do I have to go for this? Is it this direction? No. I'm going to go get the mirror. I'm going to go get Kalebolg. And then, um... Oh, here it is. Okay. I'm going to go get Kalebolg. And then I'm going to, uh... Get the monster arena, uh, weapons. Have I not done what I ha what I'm supposed to do for this? I'm pretty sure I have, right? I'm trying to remember what the trigger is to be able to get up there. I know it has to do with these two people over here.
I was pretty certain that I could do this right now. Can I not do this yet? I was so certain this is all you had to do is talk to them. I'm trying to remember the trigger for it. If I can't do it now, I won't worry about it. They're not doing the thing I need them to do. Okay. I won't worry about it then. I'm going to go do... Uh, whoops. I'm going to go do... Uh, or start up Monster Arena. And then I guess I'll st <sighs> No, nah, I'll, I'll pick up a couple of the monsters and then I'll stop. That's not where I want to be. This is like life, not where I want to be. Oh, I've got oh, I'm going this way, right. What am I doing? I'm getting tur turned around in Makalania Woods. How am I letting this happen? I have no idea what this bridge is supposed to be made of. It's still you up here, huh? I swear at some point she says something else. Nope. Do I gotta find the kid's dad? That's what it is, isn't it? I gotta find the kid's dad. Where's the kid's dad? Is it this person? No. You're not the kid's dad. Oh, here's the kid's dad. That's what it is. I gotta go talk to him over here, then I have to go back, and then now when I talk to them, the kid's missing. And the kid's up by the mirror. Found it. Figured it out. Just took me a second. Okay, and then she mentions that the kid's missing. And now we come up here, and now this is... Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. Here's the kid. See, so you use the cloudy mirror here. I don't know how that is a mirror, and I also don't know how it's cloudy. 
Okay, that gets me the Celestial Mirror. <coughs> okay, now we found the kid. Kid gets reunited with parents. Happy day for everybody. See you, kid. Okay. Now that I have the Celestial Mirror... I am now able to start unlocking Celestial Weapons. Problem is... Of the Celestial Weapons that are available... Can I actually unlock any of them? Titus's is locked behind that fight. Can I do... No. No, I cannot. I'm trying to remember where everybody... Where everybody lives right now. I'll be stopping in just a second, Wander Girl, so you're not gonna have to stay up too much longer. I want to I want to get the weapon and then I want to show you how uh, the monster arena works, which is only gonna take about ten minutes. And then monster arena and blitzball are gonna be the entire next session. Okay, so the downside here is I have to go all the way back, and I have to do... I'm just going to... Oh, that's not what I wanted. I'm just going to do this, just because I'm about to start grinding like hell, so I'd rather do this real quick. So I'm cheating my ass off. I just turned, mo I just turned monster encounters off, just so I can do this a little bit quicker. Okay. So, I need to win the Chocobo race again. I don't have to get a zero time, if I remember correctly, but I do have to actually win. I was going to say, if that second bird hit me, I was going to be very salty. Uh, the fact that that bird curved and hit me like that makes me fairly salty. Uh, thank you, Chocobo, for just randomly turning around. Okay, well, I put in a decent showing. Okay. So, dude's right here. Okay. So, because he's here, he's not blocking this spot. He's normally blocking that ramp. Celestial Mirror reacts. Yes, we're going to use a Celestial Mirror. And now that opens. And now we get Tidus's Legendary Weapon Base, the Khaled Bulk. So, there's that. So, that's the entire thing. Uh, so now I have the base weapon. The problem is I need both the crest and the sigil to le le level it up to the celestial weapon. And the problem is that the I have one of them. I got it for being the Chocobo race. The other one I will not be getting for a while. So no such luck there.
Okay, so this is the monster arena. This is a training arena that Lord Meehan constructed for the Crusaders. I can hone my battle skills here by fighting fiends gathered from all over Spira. But the fiends all got away because this guy screwed up. He's too old to gather fiends. So that's where I come in. He's going to ask me to round up all the fiends for him. He's going to give me rewards for doing so. And then I can fight, you know, fiends as well. Okay. So I'll do it. So the problem is I actually need to have specialty weapons in order to catch fiends. So he's going to buy me, or he's going to sell me the specialty weapon. So we're going to see his weapons. I'm going to sell a bunch of mine real quick. So a lot of these weapons are going to... Or some of these weapons are going to be worth something. Some of them are not. How, how much they're worth usually depends on how many slots they have. See how much you see how, how much that's worth. So good. But that's the one we made. I want to hold on to that one for a bit. Mm, I got better. Okay. So the problem with the Khaled Bulk now is that if you wear it, you don't gain any experience. And it does nothing else right now. So there's no point holding on to it. Um, okay, so I want one for Titus. I want one for Waka. And I want one for Orin. And then we're going to go customize Orin's weapon and give it piercing. And then uh, Titus's. That doesn't matter. Okay, so what I have to do is I have to go into the area that I'm planning on working in. So the Calm Lands is where I'm going to work to begin with. And I just have to go using the weapons in question. So it need, so I need to have Titus, Waka, and Orin up front. So using these weapons, I have to kill these monsters. So when I kill a monster... It's going to vanish like that. Certain monsters, like for example, Scouters, because they're mechanical, they're not actually monsters, they cannot be captured. So it'll tell me that in a second here. Next Scouter cannot be captured. And it's going to be a little bit weird on this Fire Flan, uh, Flame Flan, because I have to actually deal straight damage to it. I can't actually um, use magic on it. That's how it's done. So, in order to do what I want to do, I have to kill 10 of each monster, of every monster that is not a boss in the entire game. So, the where grinding is going to come in is I'm going to go, and I'm going to go back as far as I can. Ah, crap. That's annoying. So I'm going to go back as far as I can in the game, and I'm going to capture monsters as back as far as I can go. Now, I cannot go any further back than... Um, than Guado Salam. Guado Salam is as far back as I'm able to go right now, because I'm considered to be a traitor. The uh, Guado are not uh, happy with me, so they will not allow me to go any further back than Guado Salam. But that's fine. Because that gives me uh, the Thunder Plains, um, Makalania Lake. Uh, I don't have a way to get back to Beaconel Island right now, so I can't do Beaconel Island. But Makalania Woods, 
Makala Lake Makalania, uh, Thunder Plains, and the Calm Lands that I can get all the monsters from. And that's going to be a fair amount of grinding, actually. Uh, it's going to give me a lot of experience. Now, unfortunately, it's only experience for the, you know, people who are actually up front. So, it's only going to be experience for these three. But it's going to be a lot of experience for them. And then, for every area after this, I will also have to do it. And then, once I'm able to go backwards, I will have to do it for every area I've already been to as well. So, it's a lot of grinding. It's going to be a lot of money. It's going to be a lot of spheres. And so, that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. Or, not tomorrow. Uh, Saturday. Saturday. And then also, after I have uh, gotten all of my current, um, all of my current areas complete, the other thing I'm going to go do is uh, I'm going to do Blitzball, which Blitzball is going to require that I play like three hours of Blitzball. Some ridiculous amount like that. Maybe even longer than that, because every Blitzball game takes 5 to 10 minutes, and I'm going to have to play a lot of Blitzball games. But that's going to get me... I need to get all of Wox's overdrives. There's three overdrives that I get out of Blitzball. And then I need to get uh, his... His crest, which you get in Blitzball. His weapon you get in Luka. So I still can't get his Celestial weapon either. But that's it for me. Go sleep. I will probably do another stream on Sunday. And if everything goes well, we'll be continuing the actual storyline. If not, I'll still be playing Blitzball. So with that, I'll see you later.